So it's about 3 months since the release of the Samsung Galaxy A32 and it still remains one of the best designed budget smartphones of the year 2021 so far. But can we say the same for its performance? What is up guys, the name is Easy and welcome to the channel. So the Samsung Galaxy A32 has been with me for a while and among all the devices I've handled so far in 2021, it stands as one that has given great user experience. From design to software and overall performance, the Samsung Galaxy A32 from my experience is one device I can recommend and here are a few reasons why. First it's its design and form factor. It is not difficult to identify the Samsung Galaxy A32 amongst other A-series devices, much thanks to its unique design, which leaves quite an impression. While it has a glossy rear finish, it somehow manages to hide smudges, though this might not be the case for the black one. Its glastic rear means you don't bother about drops since it is made of a material that looks like glass but won't crack or break from a fall. I won't say it's scratch resistant though. At 6.4 inches, it sits around the comfortable size zone and can still be handled pretty well on one hand, that is if your hands are big enough. While design alone should not be the reason you buy a phone, you surely are not going to pick up an ugly or poorly designed device either. And the design of the Galaxy A32 surely leaves an impression. Now I've raved on about the design and form factor, but what about its display? First, a center hole punch camera on the display would have looked a lot better. But the Infinity U design still works and you may not even notice it after a while. With that said, the 1080p Super AMOLED display is as stunning as you can expect from a Samsung AMOLED display. With 800 nits of brightness, you can use this outdoors and have no problems as it gets really bright. The display looks sharp, colors are vibrant and it is protected by Gorilla Glass 5. But I'll still recommend a screen protector as there isn't any pre-installed from the box. Although with Samsung Care Plus, you get significant discount on screen repair which you can claim from your Samsung member's application after purchasing your device. So you pay as low as 11,250 Naira for screen repair. I'm not sure of other regions but this is the case for Nigeria. Still on its display, it has a 90Hz screen refresh rate which is one of the selling points of the A32 and it makes for really good user experience. You get smooth and stutter free scrolling which gives a very satisfying feeling when you operate the device. Software is another area where the Samsung Galaxy A32 shines. One UI 3.1 needs no introduction as it is currently the best version of Samsung's UI. It is quite optimized and runs pretty well on this device. With the 90Hz refresh rate to complement, you can hardly find anything to complain about the software. That is in my experience at least. Samsung has done due diligence with a few software updates since this device was launched which has improved the overall software experience. With the promise of 3 years of software upgrades, you can expect to see Android 12 and 2 more Android versions. You actually have to commend Samsung for its dedication to software updates. Most of the A-series devices from last year are currently running on the latest Android version, including the A31 and A21s. If you are enjoying this video so far, a thumbs up and a sub to the channel will be awesome. Now, gaming is one area where I didn't expect the A32 to shine much because I had low expectations of the Helio G80 processor. While it's a significant upgrade over the Helio P35 on the A31, it is still a rather old processor when you consider what the competition has at this price point. But it is quite interesting how it has fared on the Galaxy A32 so far. It has handled most games really well with no issues, it even plays Genshin Impact at low settings with minimal lags and no crashing nor abnormal heating. Probably because it's a year old processor, it is more stable and optimized, giving an overall balanced performance on the Galaxy A32. While it may not be the fastest processor at this price point, I still consider it a good fit and fast enough for the A32. So if you have gaming in mind while purchasing this device, it is not going to disappoint. The Samsung Galaxy A32 packs an impressive 5000mAh battery which in turn gives an impressive performance. With a fully charged battery, a whole day of use is guaranteed. You get more out of the battery if you switch to 60Hz refresh rate, but since I've had the A32, it has always been on 90Hz and I never needed to charge the battery before the end of my day. Your experience may be different depending on how you use your device. Speaking of charging, the A32 only supports 15 watts fast charging, which might be a bummer for some, 
but it is definitely not a deal breaker as it can charge from 0 to 100 within an hour and 45 minutes. I say it's still pretty good. With a couple of software updates, the Samsung Galaxy A32 has seen some improvements in camera performance compared to when I first reviewed it. The selfie and rear cameras still take sharp photos with good dynamic range. Its secondary cameras, that is the wide angle and macro cameras, do their job pretty well though I barely find myself using them. These are some of the photos I've captured over time and I'll say camera performance is still impressive. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm still not satisfied at its inability to shoot 4K from its selfie or rear cameras but that is a limitation of the Helio G80. 1080p footage still looks pretty good regardless with decent software stabilization. The Samsung Galaxy A32 provides an overall balanced user experience. From its software to gaming to regular usage and camera performance, I find everything pretty balanced. And people I know who use the device daily have had no issues with it. It may not have the highest benchmark scores but its performance is up to standard and it's a device I can still recommend. Samsung should however consider stereo speakers, an IP rating and a significantly more powerful processor for the next generation, that is probably the A33 depending on what they call it. If you own the Galaxy A32, let me know your experience so far in the comment section. If you intend to buy one, you can support the channel by using my affiliate links in the description. So till the next one, peace out.